hope you guys enjoyed that preview so if you want to install this rom let's start installing it so first thing is to boot your phone into recovery mode and for booting your phone into recovery you want to press the volume up button the home button and the power button at the same time remove them after the, you see the boot logo and we are uh, in the TWF recovery mode just wait I will uh, decrease the brightness so now you can see it properly so it's a free of recovery mode and let's go to backup and backup everything first I do whole backup some people only backup those three things default I do everything because I don't want to mess with my device or my data and I will save to backup so I already taken one just go to wipe here now if you have taken one just go to wipe now we just need to reset all for safe installation or don't face any error please go with my method now just go to install and install those two zips if you want the native blur in this launcher if you don't want the native blur the third file is given in the description just flash it with them just add more zips and app sage so is the aroma installer just here press backup EFS it's recommended by the developer too I will skip till the installation gets complete. Now on the screen you can see installation is complete. Just click here next. And here it will say reboot device. Just uncheck this option. And click next. Swipe so here. And now your app search will also get installed. Good. Now just reboot system. Here if you are using the latest ERP it will prompt you to install. So do not install. If you want to install you can just swipe to install and it will reboot with the TRP app. So this was the boot logo. In case you are missed because it will be a boot loop here. So same. Others is using same for all the three ROMs. So it's great. You can flash your own. If you are not to watch the Batman boot logo and other animations. I will be bringing some more videos on them. So yeah. It's same Samsung boot animation so I'll skip this part and we'll meet on the home screen when my phone boots up the ROM is booted up and as you can see it's crazy UX and same as the EFI 2017 launcher I don't know if the EFI 2017 will feature a blur effect but sure it should and here is the crazy UX settings UI you see in S7 yeah, S7 is good now and Note 7 which is demolished and here's the device maintenance we just check the RAM now and I was testing I got something like 470 MB now let's see what you get people and if you have any comments regarding this video yeah please go down and comment okay 509 and I'm getting something more here Oh, that's great so I got some other things here okay I was uh, doing some things there so this is the uh, UI and launcher and let's check the storage too so the nemesis version to got 10.5 gigs of storage and less than 100 MB okay 100 MB less than that is here 10.4 GB storage available same like the Enigma version 3 but it's not fully thief like Nougat 2 so yeah it's like stock uh, about the A5 2017 ROM and all your quick toggles the blue light filter and that always on display are non working features so they won't work so other features work clearly so don't mess oh this fly is messing around so other features are working very clearly so don't mess up around other things like the always on display and that things 
coming out now is the apps the apps are like same with C in S7 that's good camera app is good it's the same one now everything is working for it it's the camera app is working and it's a front camera so it is working too and yeah we get here pro filters pro mode panorama food yeah everything we got so if you have seen my videos and other videos too on youtube yeah there are many videos you can see the same so yeah lt is also working you can see view lt working so geo users it's working for you so let's go and some main features of this rom developed by alush yeah all the new roms have now the advanced power menu that's better and that's very awesome all it's needed to boot into recovery every time you need to switch off the device and so that's it for the video it's fully deep loaded everything is same from the fi 2017 native blur is added and some options and bugs are fixed so it was the performance video and it's a review of this rom so if you like this video please press the like button down below and if you are a new user watching my videos for first time please press the subscribe button because more videos are coming soon on samsung galaxy j7 and various other videos also tips and tricks unboxings too i will start when i will start earning some revenue okay i will spend it on you people not for my own usage okay so and yeah if you have any queries please post down in the comment section so that i can solve it and you will get 100 percent reply that's my word so goodbye people and thanks for watching goodbye bye